Chapter 2, Lesson 5, Percent of Change. You will be able to find the percent of change and the percent error. Use the percent of change formula to solve the following problems. Helpful hint, always write if it's an increase or a decrease. Percent change equals amount of change over original amount. And I'm going to take this one step further and say that your change over original equals percent over 100. So let's take a look at letter A. Find the percent of change in the cost of gasoline from 1970 to 2010. Round to the nearest whole percent if necessary. So in 1970, if we look at the diagram, it was $1.30, and in 2010, it was $2.95. 95 Set up your proportion. Now, the change just means to subtract the amounts. So your change is going to be, take your bigger amount, 295 minus $1.30. That's what you write for change. Change means difference. Your original amount, well, which happened first? The price in 1970 or the price in 2010? Well, 1970 came first, so $1.30 is the original amount. We know that percents are always out of 100, which means our unknown is the percent. It also asks us to find the percent, which right there should also tell you where your variable goes. First thing we need to do is we need to take care of this change. 295 minus $1.30. So 295 minus $1.30. So our change is 165 over the original amount of 130 equals x over 100. From here, what we need to do is cross multiply. It would be a good idea to have your calculator handy. So we're going to do $1.30 times x, which is just $1.30. x, that is $1.30x, equals $1.65 times 100 is 165. Solve by dividing by $1.30 on both sides. And we get a nice long decimal. 126.8 times 126.923, etc. It does say to round to the nearest whole percent. That would be our ones place. Find your place. Look next door. Five or greater, which it is. Add one more. So this would be 127 percent. Now the price went up, so we would call this an increase. Letter B. Yusuf bought a DVD recorder for $280. Now it's on sale for $220. Find the percent of change in the price round to the nearest whole percent if necessary. So our formula is change over original equals percent over 100. Don't forget that change means to subtract the numbers. So our change is 280 minus 220. The original amount, well he originally bought it for $280. That was the original amount equals x over 100. We don't know the percent, therefore that is our variable. 
first thing you need to take care of is the change amount. We need to do 280 minus 220, which is 60. So we get 60 over 280 equals x over 100. Cross multiply, 280x equals, and 60 times 100 is 6,000. Divide by 280. You get 21.42, uh, and that's enough digits for us to round. We are rounding to the nearest whole percent. Find your place, look next door. 5 or greater, add one more, it's not 5 or greater, 4 or below, let it go. So our answer is 21% and the price went down, so we would call this a decrease. Find the percent of change from 10 to 13. From 10 implies that 10 is our original amount. So we have change over original equals percent over 100. The change means we subtract the amounts. 13 minus 10. You can always put your bigger amount first. The original amount is 10. It went from 10 to 13, which means it started at 10. Equals, 100 is our denominator. We do not know the percent. First thing we need to take care of is the change. 13 minus 10 is 3. So we have 3 over 10 equals x over 100. Cross multiply, 10x equals... 3 times 100 is 300. Divide by 10, we get x equals 30. So this is a 30%. It went from 10 to 13, which means it got bigger. Increase. Letter D. The price of a radio was $20. That tells me it was the original. It is on sale for $15. What is the percent of change in the price of the radio? Our change would be 20 minus 15. The original amount is 20 because it was originally 20. Equals, we're finding the percent and it's over 100. First thing we need to do is the change. 20 minus 15 is 5. So 5 over 20 equals x over 100. Cross multiply. 20 times x equals 5 times 100, which is 500. Divide both sides by 20. and you get 25 even. So our answer is 25%. It went from 20 to 15. It decreased in price. So it is a 25% decrease. Percent error. Use the percent of change formula to solve the following problems. Helpful hint. It's very similar to the percent change formula. Okay. So, again, the amount of error, it's really asking you again for the change. Okay. The amount of error is, well, how much were you off by? What is the change? So the change over the, this time, actual amount, what it should actually be. 
you should see the word actual. Okay? Not always, but look for that keyword. And again, we're going to change this to the change over actual equals percent over 100. So very similar. Ahmed wants to practice free throws. He estimates the distance from the free throw line uh, to the hoop and marks it with chalk. Ahmed's distance estimate was 13.5 feet. The actual distance should be 15 feet. Find the percent error. So again, we are going to subtract the amounts for our amount of error or our change. 15 minus 13.5. But it's going to be over the actual amount. The actual distance is 15. Equals, we are finding percent, and percents are out of 100. So the first thing we need to do is to take care of that change amount. 15 minus 13.5 is 1.5 over 15 equals x over 100. 15 times x is 15x equals 1.5 times 100 is 150. Divide by 15 x equals 10. It is a 10% error. So we don't need to write increase or decrease in this one because we are talking about error. Although the method for solving them is pretty similar, make sure you know what question you are answering. Find the percent error if the estimate is 230 and the actual amount is 245, round to the nearest whole percent. So again, we're going to take that change amount, 245 minus 230. Our actual amount is 245 equals, we don't know the percent, and it's over 100. Take care of the change first. 245 minus 230 is 15. Carry everything else down. And now cross multiply. 245 times x equals 15 times 100 is 1500 or 1500. Divide both sides by 245. And we get 6.12 and so on. Wants us to round to the nearest whole percent. Here's our whole amount. Find your place. Look next door. Five or greater. Add one more. Four or below. Let it go. So this would be 6%. And this is an error question, so we would write error. Letter C. Jessie estimates the weight of her cat to be 10 pounds. The actual weight of the cat is 13.75 pounds. Find the percent error. Take care of that change. 13.75 minus 10 over the actual amount of 13.75 equals percent, which we don't know, over 100. The change would be 3.75. Bring everything else down. Cross multiply. 13.75x equals 375. Divide both sides by 13.75. 
and you get 27.27 .27 repeating. Now, it doesn't say to round, but I'm going to stick with uh, rounding to the nearest whole percent. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more, four or below, let it go. So this is a 27% error. Letter D. Each week, Mr. Jones goes to the grocery store. Mr. Jones estimates that he will spend $120 when he goes to the grocery store this week. However, he actually spends 94 Find the percent error. We need to take the difference, 120 minus 94, over the actual amount, which is $94. And it looks like I wrote 95. I said 94, wrote 95. It is 94. Let me fix that error. Okay. Equals. We don't know the percent, and it's over 100. Take care of the change amount first. 120 minus 94 is 26. So 26, keep the rest, over 94 equals x over 100. Cross multiply. 94x equals 2,600. Divide by 94. You get 27.8. 6, 5, etc. Uh, let's again round to the nearest whole percent. Find your place. Look next door. 5 or greater, which it is. So we add one more. It's 28% error.